What is up guys? So today we are out here ice fishing again. Sorry that I'm like blanket and stuff. The sun is really bright today, honestly. Um today is 10 degrees, so it is about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. It was negative one to zero yesterday. And when I caught those fish, oh my sneeze. Hey! <laughs> um bless me. <clears throat> but today we're out here just ice fishing. We're gonna see if we can catch any more large of sunfish. I really want to catch a sunfish, I don't know why. But these sunfish here are just not biting, so we're gonna see what we can catch today. I'm gonna need luck. My first hole's already drilled right there. That's where we're gonna be starting. Right off this point, I think right off this little point, there's about to be some stuff to sit in there, so wish me luck. This is the little jig that we're gonna be using. I used the last time to catch that bass, so hopefully we can get some more on this. Hole is already drilled. Let's get this bait down there. Let's see if there's any fish down in there. We're gonna be caught. Hopefully there is. They're pretty cool. Here, let me get all some of this ice that is in here. Push this aside. All right, there we go. First drop of today. Deep it is. Guess so. No, you know, you know the deal. We just jig away now. Good old jigging. Favorite thing to do is jig. Come on, fish. I learned that you're only supposed to give a hole five to ten minutes and you're supposed to move because you don't want to be sitting at one hole all the time. So, about four more minutes, we're going to get this hole and we're just going to move. So this is the same spot that we caught a fish yesterday. And usually when you catch a fish, you want to keep on fishing the same hole, I guess. Because bass, at least, they don't move a lot during winter. They usually just stay in the same spot. So when there's one fish, there's probably more in the same hole. So I learned you want to keep on fishing the holes you caught a fish out of already. I believe that is bottom. I would like to say. Yeah, it is bottom. Okay. Whenever you got a drink that is warm, put it in with the ice. I mean, just make sure it doesn't freeze off. I mean, it's freezing cold now, but that's what I want. So I drilled two holes right next to this uh, stick sticking out because it provides structure. So there's probably a fish either near it or around it. I caught one here yesterday, but my camera messed up, so it's not in the video before this, which kind of sucks, because it was a decent little largemouth. I would have loved to have him in the video, but technology, so, you know, technology is just great. Let's start jigging along. I just drew this hole because right there's the outflow of the pond. So I'm thinking that there might be some fish around it. So I drilled the hole right where it starts to get deep. And we're going to see if there's any bass or any um, sunfish in this pond. There's only like four species in this pond, I think. There's one koi. There's uh, four grass carps, large mouths, and just bluegills. That's it. That is all that is in this pond. So there's only a limited amount of species that we can catch. Which kind of sucks, but you know, it's better than no species at all. At least I got a little bit of variety. So I don't plan on catching any carp or anything like that. So I know grass carp, they don't eat in the winter time. They just sit and look dumb. 
This hole is not doing anything. This is the new hole that I drilled. A little bit out deeper, and it turns out it was only like five to six feet deep, so I did a good job on that hole. Come on, do is gone. Oh, we got one. Yo, we got a fish. Guys, we got one. I got a reel, reel it in, reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. Oh, it's a bass. It's a little largemouth. Hey. I, ju I literally just said this hole is not producing anything. And we just caught a fish. We just got a largemouth. Look at that little buddy. Get him out in the sun. Look at that little guy. Let me get that ice off your skin. I know snow isn't the best thing for a fish. Look at that little guy. Whew, that is... I'm the jig. Loving the jig. Thanks, little guy. And last look at this little guy before we let him go. Oh, okay. We're we'll just flop out. There he goes. Okay, guys, well, this hole actually produced something. I was doubting this hole like, the whole time. I was like, nah, this hole's not going to do anything. Yeah, it turns out it did. So we're just going to drop back down there and see if anything else is down there. Because fish in the winter, especially large off, I learned this. The large offs don't move a lot in the winter. If they find a spot, they're most likely to stay. And sometimes be in groups. So if I caught one, probably more down there too. It's absolutely epic. They really love this jig for some reason. I don't know why. It's just black, green, and pink. Doesn't look like anything they would eat. Oh, I got another one. Yo, I just got another fish. Yo, this is absolutely. Oh, yo, this one I think is bigger. This one's fighting a little bit. Oh, yo, this one is way bigger. This one's fighting. This one's fighting. This one's fighting a little bit better. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, this one is way better, I think. Let's get him out. I gotta make sure the ice, I gotta make sure the line doesn't just keep on rubbing on the ice. Cause you don't want that to happen. This guy is way better. This guy's fighting way better. I think. I don't know. I haven't really seen the fish at all. He could just he could just be stuck on a plant or something. We want some line here. Oh! He took out some drag though. That must be a good sign. Oh, it's a giant! It's a giant largemouth! Oh my god! Oh my god, yo, it's a fuck, yo, this is epic. It's a giant fish. It's a giant largemouth. It's a giant. Dude, look at the size of that. Look at him. Oh my god. Yo, this is, yo, oh, 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 look at the size of this largemouth. Dude, this is epic. Uh, yo, oh, look at the size of this largemouth. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I wish someone was here to take my picture. Oh my god. Look at the size of this largemouth. Look at his mouth. Oh my god. The size of this largemouth that I just caught ice fishing. Oh my god. This is absolutely incredible. Look at the mouth on him. This is absolutely incredible right here. This is this is a this is a big largemouth. I think in New York State this is a giant largemouth. This is a big guy. Honestly, Whew. let's get let's get him out. All right, let's get this guy back. He's breathing. He's a little breathing. He's so lethargic. His fins are moving. He's breathing. You gotta go down there, bud. There he goes. Yo, that was a giant. Oh my god. Let's get back down in that hole. Let's try to catch another one that size. I see that giant large wolf.
I think. Watch me catch the, the female. The female I know is like twice that big. I think the males, I, I believe are we smaller than the females. I want to believe that. Fortunately, guys, that is it for today. I've kind of gotten cold. I mean, I've been out here for about four hours now. I've drilled so many holes around the whole thing that, I don't know, there's no more holes to be drilled except for out in the middle. And I already drilled one out in the middle. So there's no there's no more point. I just want to go home, warm up and stuff. I got to start packing. I got to get back to my house. So I got to leave soon. But yeah, guys, so if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment share the channel and i'll see you guys in the next adventure